Uh, Tom, our deputy political editor, is joining us in the studio. This concerns Andrew Bridgen, the Tory MP, or Tory MP that was, because he lost the party whip. We've got more news on that. He did. He lost the party whip in January, following a tweet where he said, as one consultant cardio cardiologist said to me, this is the biggest crime against humanity since the Holocaust. He was referring to COVID the vaccine jab. rollout and the COVID jab in general. That, of course, caused a huge amount of concern amongst uh, many, and indeed it led to him losing the whip as a Conservative MP. He was, however, still a member of the late of the Conservative Party, right. despite not being a Conservative MP, if that makes sense. So sitting as an independent. Sitting as an independent, yeah. but still had his membership of the Conservative Party. Yeah. There was then a process that the party undertook, and it was decided after a uh, recommendation from a disciplinary panel, because there's always a process in this. The loss of the whip is sort of pending one of these investigations. Right. The investigation took place, and on the 12th of April, so uh, just over a week ago, Mr Bridgen was expelled from the Conservative Party. So that's only now emerging? That's only emerging right. in the last few minutes, even though the decision was taken on the 12th of April. I must add that uh, a Conservative Party spokesman has told me in the last few minutes that Mr Bridgen has 28 days from that date to appeal the decision. So that may explain why they've tried to keep it quiet, to give him due process to go through and, and, and put his case. Exactly. We're in the middle of this period whereby Mr Bridgen can, if he so chooses, appeal. We do not know if he has chosen to appeal or not, uh, but in effect we're in that sort of probationary period. But would it be fair to say he has been unapologetic on this particular issue previously? That certainly is the case. He seemed to double down on the issue of, of, of uh, vaccine scepticism, might, one might say, to, to put it mildly, uh, when challenged over these questions. Indeed, uh, the vast, vast majority of Mr Bridgen's presence on social media now is on this single issue of vaccines. Right. Um, he, he seems to have... Um, become rather obsessive about it. And I've spoken to several of his colleagues in recent uh, days and weeks who have actually been rather concerned that this has become a, a, a big obsession a, a, for a Mr Bridges. A fixed point, OK. And, and just to, um, in terms of political balance, reflect that Diane Abbott, who has lost the whip, there is an inquiry going on at the moment. So the same could happen to her in terms of being removed from a political party. That's exactly the case. What generally happens in these cases is that the whip is taken away from yep. a member of parliament pending an investigation, and at the conclusion of that investigation, right. there could well be a suspension of the party membership. It must be said, Jeremy Corbyn hasn't got the Labour whip, but is still a member of the Labour Party. Diane Abbott even hasn't though got... To deselect even though he's election. not allowed to stand at right. the next election. Yeah. Who would be an MP? Eh? Right. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much, Tom, for bringing us that breaking news. More